Good evening. All right, tonight we got a little bit of progress on the on the uh, menus and everything. I actually have the e EEPROM working, so we can save settings. And the settings that we can save actually get loaded right back at the beginning of the program and come right back up. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to change our uh, I'm going to change our baud rate. We'll change the baud rate to 2400. We'll change the data bits to like a normal 7. Uh, I got to do the debouncing still. I have not got the debouncing right on this. I'll do 8. 8 works better. Anyways, I'll do the parity. For the parity, we have a number assigned to none, odd, and even. Let's change it to odd. And then our uh, stop bits there. For our stop bits, we will use 1. Okay, so remember, 2400, 8 bits, parity of 2, and stop it's one. Now I will go ahead and hit save. And hit save. And it actually says written to EEPROM in the debugging through the USB. So then we will hit our reset button down here. And she'll flash. They're coming up and while these dots are appearing, we're actually loading the settings and things and getting it ready. And then we'll go to setup. And under setup, we have 2400, 8 bits, 2 for parity, and 1 stop bits. So let's try it one more time. Let's change the uh, baud rate to, let's say, 9600. And save that. The debouncing is high. There you go. Saved. All right. And we have once again written the EEPROM restarter. And we'll load everything up. Do our count up. And then we'll hit setup, which is one. And what do you know? 9600. This is actually a pretty good project, just to breadboard it all out. Once I'm done, I'll actually be able to send and receive files on here and save them down into this SD card. It seems almost like voodoo magic how smooth it is. But for now, the next project is the button debouncing. Actually getting them responsive is kind of kind of tricky sometimes, especially with like the keypad. I haven't done it much. So.